we are joined by uh, Yashvi Yadav, who is a special IGP, cyber department with us, sir. Welcome uh, at ETCIO uh, Decrypt 2022. Firstly, Thank you have you a much. session today, uh, the first keynote. Uh, and uh, second thing is uh, about the theme. If you can tell us about what is your opinion on it. See, the theme is Decrypt, as the name suggests. I would say that this kind of workshop has not come a day earlier. As you know, the cybercrime has now become the numero uno organized crime syndicate in the world, having revenues of more than $6 trillion per annum, uh, which easily surpasses GDP of most of the countries and also um, uh, is much bigger than narco trafficking or drug trafficking as they used to call it. So it is very important that now we become very sensitive and aware of this looming threat Mm, and uh, most important thing is that apart from online financial fraud, sextortion, ransomware, the biggest problem is that now cybercrime is also impacting on national security through cyber terrorism. Consider a scenario which has already happened in, in, in some part of the globe where railway signaling systems are hacked and trains are made to collide or water, sand, water purification plants are hacked and the amount of chlorine is increased in the water and it becomes poisonous. So these are the cyber terrorism challenges or, you know, uh, keeping the law enforcement agencies at their wit's end. Okay. So often we talk about the global trends, but what I want to know is about the local trend that you see in cybercrime these days. You know, cybercrime, I can say that uh, any online system is under threat. For instance, very recently, uh, a person died because the pacemaker of his heart was uh, hacked and a business rival ensured his murder in that sense. Secondly, I would like to tell you that there are several other uh, local threats or local tr scenarios or trends and they are metamorphizing very fast like an amoeba, you know. A recent uh, case that I had was of eSIM frauds where bank accounts are being totally depleted by getting a duplicate eSIM issued. Secondly, is uh, one of the trends that I have seen is online banking apps where people are first given kind of uh, temptation of a small hand loan and then more than 10 times is being recovered from them through blackmail, extortion, etc. So these are so many trends. Then there are Jamtara type of frauds, you know, and then there are few online frauds, sextortion, ransomware, then a uh, lot of even, you know, very people at high places are being affected by sextortion. So these are trends that are impacting the lives of common citizens. About five years back, cybercrime was like an alien phenomenon impacting some person somewhere. But now almost everybody is getting affected. And we have come to a scenario where some people know that they are hacked, others just don't know that they are hacked. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you too you much. So much. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you.